Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today is episode 2 of my new series called Tech Questions. Today, we're going to see if AMD FreeSync is actually noticeable. I finally got an AMD GPU to test out. It's the Radeon R9 390X, which, by the way, I should have measured the card. Because as you can see here, the card is slightly longer than my case could actually handle. So I had to kind of jerry-rig it in there by like removing a fan and just kind of like throwing it off to the side. It works and everything, but you know, it'll work for these purposes. So, but we're going to see if AMD FreeSync is actually noticeable by basically turning it on, playing some benchmarks and stuff, seeing if I can notice stuttering, anything like that, and then turning it off and seeing if I notice any difference. Kind of going back and forth a couple times and we'll see. So the first test we're going to do is AMD FreeSync turned off. So we're going to run Heaven Benchmark and then just see if we notice any stuttering or anything like that. It's just going to be Heaven Benchmark the way it normally is on a 60 hertz monitor. I don't have this monitor overclocked right now because I didn't want to have that play into the fact for the FreeSync or anything. So let's get started. And now test two. Test two will be with AMD FreeSync turned on. AMD FreeSync isn't as simple as you would think to turn on. You do have to turn it on for the monitor as well as the GPU. So I'll show you how to do that. For the monitor, you just need to click the button at the bottom, go, oops, you need to go menu, go down to picture, game adjust, and FreeSync, and then turn on. And then you can etch exit that menu and then for the GPU you actually have to use the Radeon software built-in so to turn AMD FreeSync on on the GPU side you just right click your monitor go to AMD Radeon settings go to display and then you can see here the name of my monitor by the way this monitor is the LG 27 UD 68-W monitor it's a 4k 60 Hertz monitor with FreeSync enabled so you can see that FreeSync is supported, it's just turned off right now, and I have to turn it on. And now FreeSync is on. So now I can do the second Heaven Benchmark test. And here's the actual comparison shot of the two tests. So you decide which one looks better.
So looking at the videos side by side, in my opinion, it's very hard to tell the difference between the two shots. In some areas, the AMD FreeSync turned on looked slightly better, but in some areas it looked worse. So I'm really not sure which way to go. Um, in my honest opinion, I don't think FreeSync makes enough of a difference to make up for the money. So if you're thinking about buying a new monitor, and you're trying to decide between one that has FreeSync on it and one that doesn't, first of all, make sure you have an AMD uh, GPU, because if you don't, then the point is mute. But if, if you do have an AMD GPU and you're looking for a new monitor and you're trying to decide between FreeSync and not, really just let, let your money and all that kind of thing decide because if the AMD FreeSync one seems too expensive, just go with the normal monitor because honestly, I don't see that much of a benefit. And I've been using this monitor, I've done multiple different tests on this monitor with FreeSync enabled with this GPU, and I just don't see the benefit. I've played multiple games, I've played multiple, um, I've done video editing on it, I've done all sorts of different things. I've done benchmarks just like I did in this video, and honestly, I just don't see the difference. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people that will counter contradict me and say that there is a massive difference, whatever. That's fine, that's their opinion. I just don't see the, the benefit, and honestly I would just say, if you're in the market for a new um, monitor, don't let that be the differentiating point. Don't let that may be the deciding factor in the monitor purchase. Let all the specs and that kind of thing be the deciding factor. Let that just be a bonus if it has it. Let me know what your guys' opinions are on the differences. Let me know if you actually could see a difference. If you could, I'd be excited to, to know what you think one. If you want, you guys can even create kind of a voting section of which one you think is looking better in the comment section. If you like this video, please click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We're starting to make a nice community here. Um, Next Tech News just reached over 100 uh, subscribers. I know that's a very small goal, but thank you all of you who have stuck with me from the beginning or are new, any of you. Thank you for watching my channel and starting to create this community. I'm enjoying it a lot, and I'm hoping to get a lot better. So please subscribe. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!